good evening. Good evening, I am Alicia Fowler, principal of Eastmore Academy High School. On behalf of the graduating class of 2022, we welcome you to the 22nd commencement exer exercise for Eastmore Academy High School. At this time, class of 22, if you would please turn and face your family and guests so that they can give you a big round of applause. Thank you, thank you. Class of 22, thank you. You may now be seated. You may now be seated. Again, good evening. Graduation is the formal ceremony held to recognize the accomplishments of our students. It is an event that everyone in attendance today will remember for the rest of their lives. This evening in this venue, parents, family members, and loved ones will celebrate and honor our graduates. In keeping with the demeanor of this occasion, it is appropriate to clap and cheer as your graduate's name is called. Every graduate, parent, family member, and friend has waited for this moment for 13 years. This is their moment, a moment we cannot replay or rewind. Although excited and full of pride, I'm happy to all the individual graduates and all that, they are, that are assembled here for this special occasion. This is their moment in time, their moment in time. Let us be mindful of that and ensure that every graduate has a chance to shine. Every parent has the opportunity to hear their child's name called. Please turn your electronic devices on silent or vibrate at this time. We thank you in advance for your unconditional support and the opportunity to educate your students. At this time, I will introduce the platform guests. I will begin from my right. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Platform guests, please stand when your name is called. Barnes, Valedictorian, Commissioner Post, Jose Thornton, Valedictorian, Commissioner Post, Elsmeralda Calderon, Calderon, Valedictorian, and Commissioner Host, Nevaeh Keaton, Valedictorian, and Commissioner Host, Iman Brown Adams, Valedictorian, and Commissioner Host, Jaden Milligan, Valedictorian, and Commissioner Host. To my left, we have Anthony Arrington, Assistant Principal. Dr. Luther Johnson, Region 6 Superintendent. Columbus City Schools Board Member, Michael Cole, and guest speaker for this evening. Christina Vera, Columbus City School Board of Education Member. Vicki Cumberlander, Assistant Principal. James D. Washington, Athletic Director. Ms. Renee Kelly, counselor, Ms. Kelly Wilburn, counselor, and Dr. Michelle Klein, CCS Chief Student Services Officer. Seated behind me, and if you all guys would all stand too, are all of the staff members our graduates have asked to present them their diploma. Staff, please stand so that you may receive an applause as well. Thank you, you may now be seated. A special recognition goes out to those parents and staff who have helped make this a mem memorable occasion. For many of you, students and parents alike, this day seemed like it would never arrive. Our gathering today to award diplomas to members of the graduating class of 2022 ser serves as an opportunity to acknowledge and celebrate our students. It is a rite of passage. In this class of 2022, there are 137 graduating seniors and collectively, they have earned a total of over $5.7 million in scholarships. <laughs> Parents, guardians, a photographer will be on hand to take pictures of your graduate as they receive their diploma. You should have received something also in your program with the information on how to purchase those items. At this time, Brooke Barnes will come to the stage.
Good evening. My name is Brooke Barnes, and I am proud to be one of the class of 2022 valedictorians. During my time at Eastmore, I have been a four-year varsity letterman for two sports, volleyball and softball, in which I was awarded first team all city for both. This fall, I will be attending Wright State University on a full ride with plans to major in nursing and become a traveling nurse. I would now like to welcome all of my fellow graduates of the class of 2022, our parents and families, our teachers and coaches, and our distinguished guests. Please welcome Music Thornton. Good evening, everyone. I am Music Thornton. During the past four school years, I have been afforded with many opportunities in my education and extracurricular activities to further develop myself as a scholar and leader. Reaping the fruits of my labor, I have been able to participate in five varsity sports, basketball, track and field, drill team, cross country, and tennis, three of which I was team captain for one year or more. When it comes to academics, I am proud to say that I am ranked first overall for weighted and unweighted GPA in the Eastmore Academy graduating class of 2022. With a GPA of 4.301, an ACT composite score of 28, and an SAT score of 1210. I was able to accomplish this all while maintaining a full-time academic schedule at The Ohio State University and making the Dean's List during my senior year. I have been named Scholar Athlete of the Week multiple times through different sports seasons. I am also a gracious Archie Griffin Scholarship recipient, I Know I Can Founder Scholarship recipient, Handshake America Alumni and Scholarship recipient, Builders Exchange of Central Ohio T.C. Fitzgerald Scholarship recipient, a member of the National Honor Society, a member of the National Society for High School Scholars, National African American Recognition Program recipient, Black Girls Soar Award winner, and Girls Boss Award winner. This summer, I have been accepted in a Six Sigma internship as well as an internship with an engineering firm. With over $150,000 in scholarships, in the fall, I will be attending the Ohio State University, majoring in <laughs> majoring in civil engineering with a double minor in American Sign Language and African American Studies. Through Ohio State University, I am a moral scholarship recipient and participant, will be participating in the Preface Early Arrival Program for diverse engineering majors in August, and will be working hands-on with student life social change. I thank God for and look forward to using my gifts to serve my community. At this time, would you all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for our national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight Oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. 
Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the You may all be seated. Good evening, EA family. I am Mr. Arrington, and I proudly serve as one of the assistant principals at Eastmore Academy and also the senior administrator. It has been an honor working with each one of you, the members of the class of 2022 and their families. I would like to personally congratulate you all of you, I want you to go forth, be great. And so at this time, I would like to call back to the podium our fearless leader, Miss Fowler. Thank you. Class of 2022, as we close out this chapter of your life and you prepare to move on to explore this world as a young adult, I would just like to take a few minutes to affirm or remind you of who you are. You are a warrior. Never forget it. Everyone can't be like you. Your decision to choose Eastmore Academy High School four years ago was intentional, and it confirmed what was already growing and developing in you, a warrior spirit. Merriam-Webster defines a warrior as a person engaged or experienced in warfare or a person engaged in some struggle or conflict. Now you might think, Ms. Fowler, I'm not engaged in any type of warfare or struggle. What are you talking about? Well, let me explain. Every day for the last 16, 17, or 18 years, you have chosen to get up and face the world head on. Although you may not have had a physical fight, I'm sure that there were days that you did not want to get up. You would have rather stayed in bed. That's a struggle. There were days when it seemed like nothing was going to go your way and you had to fight and push through your day. That's warfare. These last two years presented a pandemic which upon its onset pushed us into isolation. The world as you knew it instantly changed. Masks were mandatory. Touching, hugging, and sitting in the cafeteria next to your friends was a no-no. You were pushed into an unknown realm called virtual learning where you literally sat at home and watched your teachers in their home or somewhere, some other unknown location try their best to teach you math, science, English, social studies, art, PE, acting, and all of the other electives. Your ability to interact with them was limited and your ability to socially connect with your peers was robbed. But yet, here you are. A warrior that fought their way through every obstacle thrown at them, sitting here today in your royal blue cap and gown. You do know your royalty, right? <laughs> Sitting here waiting to cross the stage and receive all the accolades that are due to you. So let me just leave you with a few affirmations. You are a winner. Every day is an opportunity to learn. Even when things do not go your way, your setback is a setup for you to win. I promise you, if you approach life from this standpoint, your outlook on life will be positive and full of joy. You will not always have the outcome that you want, but in those times, if you reflect and learn from them, count that as a win, because something positive was gained from the experience. You have aptitude. Aptitude is your natural ability to do something. Warriors, I encourage you to take some time over these next few years to try new things and to have new experiences. Find your passion, find something that you are naturally gifted at doing, and do that. If you make a career out of something that you love, you will never work a day in your life. You are resilient. You got bounce back, baby. When life throws you lemons, make some lemonade, but not just regular lemonade. I'm talking about the really good stuff, like that Simply Lemonade, the Raspberry Lemonade, or that Fresh Squeeze Lemonade from Charlie's Steakery, that kind of lemonade. You are ready 
You, are, you have prepared, we have prepared you. By we, I mean your parents, other family members, mentors, teachers, friends, who have poured wisdom into you and have spoken life over you even before your birth. You have integrity. Well, it's ingrained in the warrior way. Remember that? You will do what is right even when no one is watching because as warriors, that's what we do. You are obedient. By obedient, I mean that you know how to follow rules, you know the expectations of excellence, and you do those things that will get you the desired results. You are reputable. Because you are a winner with integrity and aptitude, your reputation will precede itself. Always remember to guard your reputation because sometimes it's the only thing that you have. You are a servant. You have been prepared for a lifetime of leadership and service, service to your family and service to your community. Do not hold on to your gifts. Share them with others. Always be willing to reach back and help someone else rise up. In short, you are a warrior. It has been an honor and a privilege to have walked with you on this journey. But now it is your time to start a new chapter in your life. Your Eastmore Academy family will always be here to support you. I can't wait to, for you to come back and share with us all the amazing things that you are doing and the contributions to society that you have made. Thank you. At this time, we will have Esmeralda come to the stage. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Esmeralda Cabrera, and I am one of the few class valedictor valedictorians for the class of 2022. For the past few years, I was a part of the biomed program, and just this year, I helped paint the bee for our school play, the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. This fall, this fall, I will be attending the Ohio State University, and I will be majoring in biochemistry. <laughs> It is my pleasure to introduce this year's senior class speaker, Maurice Harrison, Jr. Please join me in welcoming to the podium, Maurice Harrison, Jr. Good evening. My name is Maurice Harrison, and I am proud and honored to be one of the class of 2022 valedictorians. This year, I ran track and cross country, had multiple roles in our musical production, had a part-time job, and participated in community events, all while taking a four full course load at The Ohio State University. This year, I will be attending Purdue University on a full ride. <laughs> to major in biomedical engineering and minor in theater. <laughs> if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. <laughs> Dr. Martin Luther King, to all parents, administration, teachers, staff, board members, alumni, friends, and most importantly, the members of Eastmore Academy's graduating class of 2022, I am Maurice Harrison, and I welcome you all to this most glorious of occasions. I read a quote by Dr. King that I feel perfectly describes the perseverance that my classmates and I have had to learn and show so that we can make it to this point in our life journey. When we began this journey together four years ago, I don't believe any graduate, staff member, or parents could have imagined the journey we would travel together. Our matriculation has been varied and multifaceted, from the first day to the last, we've seen changes in our classmates, 
changes in our building, changes in our uniforms, changes in our country, and changes in our world. I remember my first day at EA vividly, waking up an hour earlier than needed, pulling out my most crispy uniform shirt, even though they were all the same, and grabbing my favorite hoodie. I was nervous because this was all new. My classmates and I would be the youngest, smallest, and least popular kids in the building. But even with this anxiety, I was still hopeful of making new friends, doing well academically, and hoping that I find experiences and activities to join so that I can make my mark on this historically great school. During that first year, EA taught us a lot. Very quickly, you learn Mrs. Brown class would be no joke. <laughs> Learning the vision statement was a serious thing. <laughs> Our sports team were second to none in the city. The drill and cheerleading teams were full and fine. <laughs> Our theater productions were legendary. And we even learned that eating lunch at EA could be, shall we say, a struggle at times. But at EA, you quickly learned that even though teachers would hound us about uniforms, turning in work on time, getting to class before the bell, we would also be rigorously educated in a nurturing environment, prepared for a lifetime of learning, leadership, and service, and empowered to be responsible citizens of the world. So we thank Mr. Morton for his role in our journey, and Ms. Fowler for her leadership in this, our senior year. We appreciate all the administrators, teachers, and staff members for supporting us throughout this journey and never giving up on us when that may have been the easy thing to do. To our family members, friends, and parents, we cannot thank you enough for loving us unconditionally and pushing us when necessary so that we can make it to this finish line. Earlier, I spoke about perseverance. Class of 2022, help me show the people in this audience what we had to endure over these four years and celebrate with me what we did in the face of adversity. I already talked briefly about the things we had to overcome during our freshman year. That was 2018. Our sophomore year started off great in the fall of 2019. We were older, wiser, and more eager to contribute. We knew our teachers, we participated in extracurricular activities. We had homecoming. And then came 2020. Who would have thought that our struggle wouldn't be passing Mrs. Fuentes' English class, but rather where we would find our next roll of toilet paper? Who could have imagined that instead of trying to be slick wearing a hoodie or do-rag, we'd be arguing with teachers about being in bed with pajamas and bonnets? Who would have guessed that instead of being tired of seeing the same faces, the next year all of our classmates will look like the same black squares. During our next two years, we lost Kobe. Dealt with the social unrest caused by the murders of Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, and Ahmaud Arbery. Witnessed the president who was supposed to protect our country, but instead orchestrated an uprising at our nation's capital by American citizens lost countless loved ones to COVID, and many times cannot even mourn them properly. We had to social distance. Guys couldn't get their hairs cut. Girls couldn't get their hair or nails done. We, <laughs> we never saw a nose or a mouth for a year and a half. No spring sports, no prom, no graduations, no homecoming the next year. Zoom was school for the next nine months. It was exhausting for everyone. But in spite of all these challenges and tragedies, this is what we accomplished, classmates. The class of 2022 has the distinction of being the first graduating class in EA history to have AC in every room. Hot.
With the support, creativity, and hard work of Ms. Hancock and her staff, our class is the first to witness the new and entertaining way we do morning announcements. It is our class that is the first to benefit from the Columbus Promise Grant, which will allow every graduate here the opportunity to attend college debt-free if they attend Columbus State. We have earned over $5 million in scholarships and grants. <laughs> Under the direction of Mr. Harms, we put on productions of The Wiz, Rent, and the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, despite the restrictions of COVID. Ms. Marrero took graduates abroad to experience Peru and Belize. In sports, we dominated in typical EA tradition. During our time at EA, we won city championships or runner-ups in football, volleyball, softball, bowling, and girls track. The graduating class of 2022 will always have the distinction of being the class that broke the all-time record for consecutive city championships for track and field. <laughs> As we won our 11th straight city title. This has never been done in the history of Columbus City Schools. Coach Lewis, we thank you for your leadership. In all, in all classmates, we acted, sung, danced, ran, studied, painted, drew, laughed, and cried together, making memories that will last a lifetime. Through perseverance, we have made our mark on our now dear alma mater. But our journey cannot stop here. Our vision says that we are empowered to become responsible citizens of the world. That means we will become the professionals, educators, innovators, business people, husbands, wives, fathers, and mothers that our community needs. The strong men and women EA has raised us to be. Continue to strive for success. In case of doubt, remember that a missed opportunity only becomes failure when you quit. If you persevere, you can never lose the race of life. Graduating class of 2022, please stand and repeat after me. If it is to be, if it is to be, it is up to me. If it is to be, it is up to me. If I am to be successful, it is up to me. I can stop now. If you are going to be the class to change the world for the better, it is up to each of you. God will make no junk. And EA didn't either. Good luck, class of 2022. Next, next we will have Navea Keaton come to the podium. Good evening, my name is Nevaeh Keaton. It is an honor to be one of the class of 2022 Valor Victorians. During my senior year, I participated in multiple extracurricular activities, including earning a medical certification at Fort Hayes Career Center and taking a college course through Columbus State. This fall, I will be attending Ohio University in Athens, Ohio. On a pre-professional track of medicine, I will major in biology with a minor in psychology. It is with great pleasure that I introduce to you our guest speaker, Mr. Michael Cole, 
a believer in the possibility of infinite possibilities, Columbus City Schools board member Michael Cole brings nearly 20 years of experience in public affairs, television, radio, and education advocacy. As your board member, he successfully led district's first major community listening tour entitled Morning Forward, Dreaming Big 2020. He has also worked with board to improve student achievement and access to life-changing opportunities. After beginning his career in news writing and photojournalism, Mr. Cole would transition into policy and polit politics as a public affair consultant and political strategist to notable congressional, statewide, and municipal campaigns. From 2004 to 2008, he also produced and hosted a public affairs talk radio program on Columbus AM 1580 WVKO entitled What's What with Michael Cole. Mr. Cole has made numerous appearances on nation national and local news programs, including the Gretchen Carlson Show on Fox National News and was a regular panelist on WOSU's Columbus on the Record. Today, he has taken his time to the, to the classroom as a K through 12 teacher with Southwestern City Schools. Michael holds a Bachelor's of Arts from the Ohio State University and a master de master's degree from Seton Hall University. He and his wife, Lee, of 19 years, are loving parents of two children attending Columbus City Schools. Please join me in welcoming to the stage Columbus City Schools board member, Michael Cole. Can I get an EA? Yeah. Can I get an EA? Yeah. One more again. Let me get an EA. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. First and foremost, um, I love this time of year more than I love the Christmas holidays. I get the awesome time to spend time with my family and enjoy all that. But there's nothing like this auspicious occasion. There's nothing like this opportunity where so many come together from different backgrounds, different money, different religions, different politics, different points of view to celebrate on one accord your singular investment, to celebrate on one accord what you instilled into all of these young people with your love, your discipline, right? and your sense of allowing them to dream their lives forward. Give yourselves a round of applause for that good work. No, nah, that's whack. Come on now, give yourselves a big up. Now, you've heard a lot about uh, the many accomplishments of our young people in this particular class, but let me tell you what the value of a Columbus City School education actually is. Let me give you a little data. And students, I want you to indulge me. When I ask you the question, do you know what you did? I want you to say, what did I do? Let's practice. You know what you did? <laughs> we'll try it again. Y'all know what y'all did? <laughs> okay. Did you know? that you guys actually amassed not just $5 million in scholarships for this class, but actually $42 million plus dollars for the district, for the district wide. You know what y'all did? All right. Do you know that over 2,000 and counting of you are graduating this year? Over 2,000 students and counting. We go to the last day, don't we? Yes, we do. Not only that, we go to the summer. So we're going to see well over 2,000 students walk these very stages this year as a part of the class of 2022. Do you know what y'all did? <laughs> did you know that 25% of you are, are career tech ed students? Now, for my old heads in the room, right, that is uh, our vocational students. But watch this, this is where they're different. See, this is where they're different from old school days. You guys actually graduate with credentials that make you industry and workforce ready. Mom, dad, in case you didn't know, some of them got the money to pay for their bills. Some of them have the money to put at least 15 bucks on the gas or pay the, pay the phone bill. These are the youngsters that we are producing. 
Do you know what y'all did? Listen, you are a group of students who are stepping into the wide world of work, even business. Some of you want to start businesses. Some of you have been doing that now. Some of you have walked into the world of the military and made a commitment of service. I want to share with you very quickly before I transition what our mission statement is for Columbus City Schools. If you don't know it, you need to. If y'all don't know it, you need to. It is that each student is highly educated, not somewhat educated, not we are highly educated, and it's each student. There's a difference between each and every. Every kind of encapsulates everybody, right? Everybody is here, and everybody is happy, but it doesn't, it doesn't really connote the idea of where each of you are. Each of you means that there was a singular investment, a singular set of resources that were set into you to ensure your success. Each student is highly educated, prepared for leadership and service, and empowered for success as a citizen of a not just Columbus, not just Ohio, not just Ozetayuni or the United States, but our globe, of a global community. Give yourselves an applaud for being able to step forward and step boldly into this new space. You know, um, I was really pondering how I was going to, you know, frame this whole conversation and what my thoughts would be. And something came to mind, one of my favorite songs by an artist by the name of Talib Kweli came to mind. And it's a song he did with Mary J. Blige called I Try. He talked about life being a beautiful struggle. Life is a beautiful struggle. He said something to the effect of uh, people rummaging through the rubble to, you know, find their opportunity. Life is a beautiful struggle. People searching through the rubble for a beautiful, excuse me, for a suitable hustle. Some people use the noodle, some people use the muscle, some people put it all together and make it fit like a puzzle. Life is a beautiful struggle. People searching through the rubble for a suitable hustle. Some people using the noodle, some people using the muscle, some people put it all together, make it fit like a puzzle. I'm gonna say it again, life is a beautiful struggle. People searching through the rubble for a suitable hustle. Some people using their noodle, some people using the muscle, some people put it all together, make it fit like a puzzle. Let me say something to y'all. We talked a lot, we heard a lot from you august body of students about perseverance. But let me tell you something, how you weather the beautiful struggle is by understanding two things and making a very clear distinction between the two. Your malady versus your miracle. What is your malady? What is your miracle? And for most of the folks in this community, I took an Uber the other day to speak here at a couple of other graduation ceremonies, and I was telling the Uber driver about all the things you have accomplished as a, as a, as a, as a cohort for the entire district and even for the school I was speaking for. And this guy was like, really? I didn't know that. I mean, I live in Dublin, and well, oh, okay. Well, let me put you up on game, my friend. You are the testimony of the miracle of these students of this district, of the love and all the things you receive from these people in this very room to be where you are and to go where you will go. That is the miracle. The malady is trauma. The malady is COVID. The malady is whatever you feel is your hyper situation. I'm nervous, I'm anxious, I'm, I feel sad. These are all very real things, and I promise you, I do not want to take away from them, but I don't want to give them power. They don't deserve it, and you don't deserve to hold yourself back as a result of it. In fact, the more you invest in your malady, the greater your malady becomes. So imagine yourself riddled with anxiety, riddled with all the things that prevent you and tell you to lie that you can't achieve or move forward. 
by the time you become my age, now it's a serious reality. Now it's one that requires medicine. Now it's one that requires intense therapy. Now it's one that has you in a space where you are old head and you can't even move forward. Who wants to be there? I don't hear you. Who wants to be there? Okay. Let's talk about that miracle space real quick. That miracle space is something even more awesome. That miracle space is that space where you were the salmon that made it upstream and spawned your dreams, spawned what are your gifts and talents and applied them. This is your opportunity now as you are spawning to reimagine you, the, level, the leavening of self-examination. I hope I got some alpha brothers in this room today. They might know that chapter in that book. That's the seventh chapter of our history book the leavening of self-examination. It is the idea that we are taking a look at where, where, what it is we need to put in ourselves to rise up. As I close with some thoughts, let me tell you what they are. The first is faith. The first is faith. I'm not talking about religion. I'm not speaking on that. The 11th chapter of Hebrews, chapter 1, verse 1. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1 says that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen. You, mom, dad, nana, papa, this represents the substance, this kingdom that we put into, that we built, represents the substance of what we hope for, for this world, for our families, for your very lives, Right? The next is endurance. We want you to know how to endure, but you can't do it by yourself. Some of us think it was the power of me, the Holy Trinity, me, myself, and I. Wrong. You did not do it by yourselves. Am I right? Mom, dad, papa, nana, they didn't do this by themselves. Folks put money on your books. Folks paid your fees. Folks in this space spoke up for you. <laughs> Folks prayed for you. Folks shouted at you and to the God himself and said, Lord, get this child. Help me. Endure. Endure. It is what you owe yourself and interestingly, what you owe others around you. Endure. The last is encourage. That's a simple idea, right? The idea that we're going to take each other by the arm and push each other forward and pull each other up. But it is another thing that you owe. As citizens of a global community who were designed to be leaders, it is what you owe to yourselves. It's what you owe to the man and woman sitting next to you. It's what you owe to a community in which you live or will soon reside. It is what you owe. Life is a beautiful struggle. People searching through the rubble for a suitable hustle. Some people using the noodle. Some people using the muscle. Some people put it all together, make it fit like a puzzle. Listen, young world, if nobody told you today that you have achieved something seminal, something paramount, something important, something great, something magnanimous or noble, then I'm here to tell you that you have achieved that today. Uh-huh. Scream it out. That's right. If no one told you, young world, if no one told you, young world, that you are important, that you are seminal, that you are a necessity, that you are needed, that you are an asset, I am here to tell you, listen, folks, if nobody told you today that they love you, Mr. Cole loves you. Yeah, yeah. As I close, I just want to say to you, if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth distance run, yours is the earth and everything in it, and which is more, you'll be a man, woman, my son, my daughter, my daughter, my son, my son, my daughters, my family. 
God bless you. God bless this class of 2022. Can I get an E8? God bless you. God bless Columbus City Schools. Thank you, board member Cole. Now we have a poem read by Iman Brown Adams, class of 2022, Valerie Victorian. Good evening, graduates and family. My name is Iman Brown Adams, and I am a proud valedictorian of the 2022 class. <laughs> During my four years of high school, I have been inducted into the National Honor Society. I have been both captain and co-captain of our drill team, and I have had the opportunity to participate in our College Credit Plus program. This program has allowed me to begin my college career at Columbus State Community College for both my junior and senior years. I will continue my education at The Ohio State University this fall, majoring in architecture. <laughs> I will now read to you a poem titled, Graduate by Nikki Aling. <laughs> Graduate, no matter which road you choose, no matter how long it may seem, let your heart be your guide along the way if you want to fulfill your dreams. No matter the detours, the roadblocks, or dark nights, Continue your heart's desire. Lift up your torch and don't be afraid to set the world on fire. You are the light of a new day. Shine for all to see. Carry your knowledge from this day forward. Blaze a trail for history. No one will ever be quite like you. Remember this important truth. We all have a purpose in this life and it begins in our youth. Who you are now and who you will become is determined by your soul. And with your dreams in your heart to lead, you, lead the way, you can conquer any goal. Congratulations. Thank you, board member Cole, for your words to our students. And thank you to the Eastmore Academy valedictorians for your words of encouragement and guidance through our commencement ceremony. Board member Cole, board member Vera, Dr. Klein, Region 6 Superintendent Dr. Luther Johnson. I hereby certify that each member of the June 2nd, 2022 graduating class of Eastmore Academy High School has met the prescribed requirements of the Ohio Department of Education and the Columbus Board of Education for graduating from high school and that each is prepared to receive their appropriate diploma. The names of the graduating class will be read by Mr. Harms and Ms. Tubal. Diplomas presented by Jessica Manet, Kentuan Glass.
Samia Hondido. <laughs> Diploma presented by Kelsey Pakala. Jay Sean Lewis. Diploma presented by Tina Jackson. Yemani Cunningham. <laughs> Diplomas presented by Sequoia Wright. Edgren Gravely. Job Odom. Shaq Enjai. Danelle McIntosh. Kennedy Jones. <laughs> Trinity Wells. Diplomas presented by Adam Sparks. Lacardier Sunderland. Nadia Dunlap. Diplomas presented by Alicia Carruthers. Kylan Wilkins. Elijah Hill Pitts. Diplomas presented by Alicia Fowler, Dennis Asaro. Gabrielle Summers. Jaden Smith. Joshua Gray. <laughs> Michaela Logan. Myasia Adams. Sarah Tarr.
Tatiana Howell. Tyler Coates. Diploma presented by Michael Cole. William Cole. Diploma presented by Alicia Fowler. Xavier Hedgebeth. <laughs> Diplomas presented by Anthony Arrington. Binta Saul. Brazene Madison. <laughs> Elasia Washington. Anaya <laughs> Coleman. Ayana Harrison. <laughs> Kalia Birchmore. <laughs> Kanaya Barksdale. Kylan Woodward. <laughs> Latrice de Graffenried. Leah Harris. <laughs> Malaysia Hendricks. <laughs> Maya Rice. Sania Perry. <laughs> Tamia Wright. <laughs> Tajiana Calhoun. Diploma given by Anthony Arrington for Benjamin Alexander. Juliana Whitney. <laughs> Diplomas presented by Bruce Jacobs. Akil Woods.
Gabrielle Pickles. Jalen Slappy. Manuel Lofton. Zarice Adams. Diplomas presented by Kaya Valentine. Cameron Couch. Darian Collins Serber. Iman G. Malia Grace. Diploma presented by Chiquita Ture. Tamaya Carter. <laughs> Diplomas presented by Jim Miranda. Alonzo Thorpe. Anthony Sago the third. Diamante Sally. Jagir Collier. Harrison Warren. Jahani Jackson Branch. Javriel Cooper. Draymond Harrison. Most colorful graduate ever. <laughs> Diplomas presented by Jason Lewis. Cameron Jordan Ruffin. Devin Lloyd. Isaiah Presley. Jaden Valdez. Mo Conte.
Rhea Wheeler. Zarik Page Bruner. <laughs> Diploma presented by Ebony Mundy. Naishanti Laney. Diplomas presented by Leo Cleary Fuller, Sienna Jones. <laughs> Savion Davenport. Sydney Davenport. <laughs> Tania Jackson. Diplomas presented by Lori Jackson, Faith Thornton. Robert Ray. Diploma presented by Michael Cole. Jamil Franks. <laughs> Diploma presented by Regina Fuentes. Christian Martin. Diplomas presented by Rio Hancock. Autumn Haygood. Brianna Canty. Jamia Geiger. Jada Bailey. <laughs> Diploma presented by Charity Martin King. Calvana Leeper. Diplomas presented by Samantha Glasser. Azari Thompson. <laughs> Taimani Ali. Diploma presented by Sarah Marrero. Teresa Lewis. Yeah. 
diplomas presented by Mr. Sean Kiff. Aaron Lawson. Diploma is presented by Mr. Seth Harms. Aaliyah Flint. Heron Gaeta. Lee Anthony Jones the second. <laughs> Mahogany Jones. Malika Treadwell. <laughs> Yasmin Woodfort. Diploma is presented by Ms. Stephanie Gartland. Fernanda Medina Esparza. Hope Pierce. Jayana Smith. Diplomas presented by Wick McGowan. Nevaeh Johnson. Samaya Hill. <laughs> Diplomas presented by Wick McGowan for Tara Jones. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Oops, my bad. Diplomas presented by Tara Jones, Nijay Clay. Diploma, diploma presented by Teresa Province. Tajay Burns Gable. <laughs> diploma is presented by Thomas McCarthy. Alex Collins Serber. Brianna Scott. Brianna Blount. Kamaya Lucas. Diamond Hill.
Malachi Williams. Morgan Miles. Sean Latham, Jr. Taylor Coates. Zaria Anderson. <laughs> Diploma presented by Tanya Temple. Markela Anderson. Diplomas presented by William Compton, Alexandria Burks, Anea Cooper. Brianna Muse Dixon. Janiah Flowers. <laughs> Malaysia Hamrick. <laughs> Tania Forte. Quintana Gubermeskel. <laughs> Diplomas presented by Wick McGowan. Ayana Rome. Anaya Duncan. <laughs> Bubakar Silla. <laughs> Diamond Bryant. Aaron Chambliss. <laughs> Callie Mann. <laughs> Kiela Yancey.
Lawrence Allen. Naya Kaluvia. Taylor Wood. Diploma presented by Adara Stallworth. Brianna Beatty. Gianna Beatty. Kennedy Super Jackson. Diploma presented by Alicia Fowler. Sienna Smith. Diploma presented by Mr. Seth Harms. Iman Brown Adams. Diploma presented by Miss Alicia Fowler, Esmeralda Cabrera Calderon. <laughs> Diploma presented by Kaya Valentine, Brooke Barnes. Diploma presented by Anthony Arrington, Nevea Keaton. <laughs> Diplomas presented by Jason Lewis, Maurice Harrison, Jr. Jaden Milligan. <laughs> the last diploma presented by Charity Martin King, Music Thornton. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Eastmore Academy High School Class of 2022. Class of 
of 2022, it has truly been an honor to be your administrator for these four years. At this time, please welcome Jaden Milligan to the stage. <laughs> Good evening. I am Jaden Milligan, and I am being acknowledged as one of the valedictorians for the class of 2022. This year, I was able to complete a year of college at The Ohio State University through the senior to sophomore program while competing in the cross country and track, both indoor and outdoor. Tomorrow, I will have the chance to compete at the state track meet alongside my classmates, Maurice, Devin, and Isaiah in a four by 400 meter relay, who are, who are all graduating with me tonight. In the fall, I will be attending The Ohio State University, majoring in neuroscience with the desire to be a pediatric neurologist. <laughs> Students, may you please rise to um, recite the vision statement with me. On three, one, two, three. Eastmore Academy students are rigorously educated in a nurturing environment prepared for a lifetime of learning, leadership, and service, and empowered to be a responsible citizens of the world. At this time, line leaders, would you please take your places? Valedictorians. You all have a chart. Parents, guardians, and teachers, administrators, family members, friends, and honored guests, we thank you for your attendance. None of this would have been possible without your love, support, encouragement, motivation, prayers, and discipline. We take this time out to express our most sincere gratitude to you. And now the moment we have all been waiting for, class of 2022, please stand and join us for the traditional turning of the tassel from right to left. Okay, class of 2022, on the count of three. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank you for your cooperation throughout this ceremony. The audience is asked to remain seated during our recessional out of respect for our graduates. Graduates, we ask that you quickly exit. Remember that you get your diplomas outside, so you need to find your line leaders as soon as you exit prior to meeting up with your family. Thank you all for coming and your continued support to make Eastmore Academy a school of excellence. Have a safe drive home.